Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Nisa Augustine. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you are not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to go to the mathematics community. In this lesson, I'm going to look at how to find the square root of a given complex number. So we have 21 minus 20i. How do we find the square root of this complex number? Let us assume that a plus bi is the square root of this complex number, where a and b are real numbers. This implies that a plus bi equals square root of 21 minus 20i. Now, if we square both sides, we are going to have a plus bi squared equal to 21 minus 20i. Now, this gives a squared plus 2abi plus b squared i squared, which is equal to 21 minus 20i. Now, i squared is negative 1, so it turns b squared over as negative b. So we have a squared minus b squared plus 2abi equals 21 minus 20i. Now let us compare the real parts. We have a squared minus b squared equal to 21, which one, if we compare the imaginary part, we have 2ab equal to negative 20. That is, we take the coefficient of i. Now, if we name this equation 2, from equation 2, we can write b to be negative 20 divided by 2a, which gives negative 10 on a. Let's name this equation red, and then put it into equation 1. So we are going to have a squared minus negative 10 on a, all squared minus, sorry, is equal to 21. This is b, and b is squared. b is minus 10 on a. So we have a squared minus 100 divided by a squared equal to 21. So we are going to have a to the power of 4 minus 100 equal to 21a squared. That is, if we multiply 2 by LCM, which is a squared, so this gives a to the power of 4 minus 21a squared minus 100 equal to 0. Now we can break this one to get a quadratic equation. This will give a squared r squared minus 21a squared minus 100 equal to 0. So the coefficient is positive 1. So you multiply it by negative 100 to get negative 100. And then we find factors of negative 100 such that if we add, we get negative 21. And that is minus 25 and 4. So we are going to write this one as a squared r squared minus 25 a squared plus 4a squared minus 100 equal to 0. Which factorize to give a squared into brackets a squared minus 25 a squared times a squared plus a squared a squared times 25 plus 25 a squared plus 4 times a squared minus 25 equals 0. Which factorize to give a squared minus 25 times a squared plus 4 equal to 0. Now, if we take a squared plus 4 equal to 0, we have a squared equal to minus 4. And then a will be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 4, which gives complex numbers. Or we stated that a and b are real numbers. So we will discard this solution. Now let's take the second one. a squared minus 25 is equal to 0. We have a squared equal to 25, then a equal to plus or minus square root of 25, which gives a equal to plus or minus 5. So we take a equal to 5, a equal to negative 5, and find b for each. Now we said b equals negative 10 on a. So b equals minus 10 on a. So if a is positive 5, we will get negative 10 on 5. That will give us negative 2. So we have the pair of points a equal to 5, b equal to negative 2. Now if a equal to negative 5, 
we are going to have b to be equal to negative 10 divided by negative 5, which will give us positive 2. So we have the pair of points a equal to negative 5, b equal to positive 2. Now, the square root of 21 minus 20i equals a plus bi. So if we take this part, we are going to have 5 minus 2i as one of the roots. And if we take this part, we are going to have minus 5 plus 2i as one of the roots. So the roots are 5 minus 2i and negative 5 plus 2i. Now how do we combine these two roots to write it once? So let's see how we do that. So here we have one of the roots with negative 5 plus 2i and the other is positive 5 minus 2i. So if I write plus or minus here and then break into bracket 5, then I have 2i, 2i. So let me write here 2i. So what sign should I put here? This is the sign here, negative. So let me put the negative sign there. Let's check if it is true. If we take positive, we are going to have plus into bracket 5 minus 2i, which will give us 5 minus 2i. If we take negative, we are going to get a minus into bracket 5 minus 2i, which will give us minus 5 plus 2i. Wow. So we can write our solution as plus or minus 5 minus 2i. That is very, very simple. Or we can separate the roots. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Mass with Vim, for more uh, English, mathematics, chemistry, and physics lessons.